mobile phones and Kenya are like bank accounts some people keep all their savings on their phone and fraudsters are trying to hack into them to steal the money. Sami Wanana received a text message on Sunday asking him to provide the secret personal code so that his SIM card could be swapped. He was confused, he had not asked for a new card and just moments earlier he had terminated a call that he now realized must have been from a fraudster who had posed as a customer services advisor from the phone company. It was a brief call and I did not give any of my details, Mr. Wanana told the BBC. He immediately contacted Safaricom, his mobile provider, to report that he suspected that there was an ongoing attempted fraud on his number. Despite not giving out his details and reporting the fraud to Safaricom he completely lost access to his number and only getting back control after three days. Mr. Wanana says Safaricom contacted him after his complaint and issued him with a new SIM card as a precaution without giving further details about how he lost access to his number. The company tweeted him to say it was committed to safeguarding customer information and that we will follow up this matter to its conclusion. I lost $18,000 his story prompted others to share their experiences many of whom had lost money in the scam.